We did one backers audition for West Side Story, which was a disaster, and it was in a very, uh, very fancy apartment uh, overlooking the East River. And um, Lenny hated, uh, you know, having to go hat in hand. Uh, he thought it was beneath his dignity. Arthur, Jerry, Lenny, and Steve were there, and Lenny pounded the piano singing the song so loud that you could barely believe it because he was nervous. The whole the whole atmosphere was not fun. And they didn't get, the backers didn't get it at all. Not one cent was raised. I'd spent the previous year listening to those songs. And I thought they were pretty odd. Steve would come over and say, listen to this fabulous melody. And he'd sit down at the piano and play Maria. And I remember saying, that's so ugly. I didn't get it. I mean, stupid. I totally got it. I got it. I knew that I was, I had one foot in the door, something really amazing, and that I would feel standing in the back of the theater, a part of the history of musicals. When I heard America for the first time, oh, I went, how does he know these rhythms like this? I mean, this is just so basic and so fabulous. But Jerry, I believe, went up to Spanish Harlem, you know, and, and checked it all out up there. I mean, there was a lot of work done. West Side Story was an enormously unusual show. I know that West Side was a unique situation, and we were dealing with geniuses that would settle for nothing less than a 200% effort on everybody's part. But Jerry literally asked us as actors, the principals, to rehearse for a full month with no pay at all. And we worked in a little attic somewhere. We didn't know that that was going to be such an amazing piece of theater. We had no idea, because we were busy being it. I've worked on a few shows in my life where I thought, this rhythm, this sound, the way this is happening, this is unique and getting me in some visceral place where I'm so excited I could scream. And the first time you, you know something is when you do like a, a run through for gypsies or something, you know, and you go, oh my goodness, oh wow. At least six million people saw opening night of West Side because every time I meet them, they say, oh, we were there opening night. And you know they weren't. You know they couldn't have been there. It was one of the most wonderful nights in the theater. You lived or you died in one night. I went to the opening night of West Side Story with Steve Sondheim, which was not a very happy experience for him. The reviews were very disappointing for Steve. It was as though the lyric writer didn't exist. Now it was the Times ignoring me, the Trib, Walter Kerr, slammed me. The reviews were condescending. They were good, but begrudging. They had come in ready to have that be their opinion until they got hooked in the middle of the first act. What does Tony stand for? Anton. Te adoro, Anton. Te adoro, Maria. Good night, good night, sleep well, and when you dream, dream of me. They came along for the roller coaster ride, and uh, it was undeniable. I mean, the people were sobbing and screaming, and yeah, it, it was thrilling opening night. <laughs> <laughs>